Well, I haven't done one of these for a while. I forgot about that. What are you doing? You still doing this? Go. You got to see this, babe. It's very funny. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't much of a card player. So I have to find a way to spend the time. Mike said you grew up in England? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, my father was an expat. I, uh, I never really felt I belonged anywhere. But when I moved to the States after school, I, I joined the Army. And how long did you guys serve together? Uh, I got into third bat right after you. So what, about three, four yeah, years? That sounds about right. Mike never tells me stories about his Army days. Yeah, well, most of us don't. It's just our way, I guess. But, uh, hey, if you, if you want to hear a story. No. Yeah. No, she doesn't want to hear a story. No, whatever he's going to say is, is definitely inappropriate. All right. Oh, God. Well, uh, Army cooks aren't uh, exactly culinary giants. Uh, so we used to go to this restaurant that made the best fried chicken you've ever had. And we'd eat baskets. Uh, <laughs> the, the cook, he was this great old guy called Mo. Mo. Mo had to walk to work. Uh, five miles to work and five miles back. Rain or shine, now, you can fry an egg on a Georgia sidewalk in the summer. Mm -hmm. So Mike went to every man in the company with a duffel bag and asked him to put some money in, or else. Now, your husband, he can be pretty stubborn. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so Mike didn't quit until every single one of them emptied their wallets. And you know what your daddy did? Bought Mo a car so he didn't have to walk to work anymore. Mike Banning's one of the most bullheaded men I've ever met. No way was he going to let old Mo down. Here. That's real, sweetheart. Say thank you. Here. Drink that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think we'd live past 30? No. Not back then, anyway. Hell, I miss it. Smoking, joking with the guys. Adrenaline of the fighting. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Hey, can I be honest with you? I don't think I'm going to take the director's job if they offer it. God, I'm not ready to write a desk yet. I saw it in your eyes the moment I mentioned it. Hell, I wouldn't either. Lions. And that ain't never gonna change. Tell you what, though. 